Do I think Raspberry Pi is a villain? I'm inclined to say no, but I think they're in trouble. The Raspberry Pi shortage from 2021 to 2023 turned buyers towards alternatives in the single board computer market. Despite their higher costs and excessive power for the low overhead tasks the Pi is normally used for, these alternatives couldn't quite match the Pi's blend of power and affordability. Small form factor PCs like Think Center Tinies and Optiplexes available on eBay emerged as contenders and remain viable alternatives to the Raspberry Pi today. Especially if you aren't concerned about using a system that uses 60 to 80 watts at full tilt as opposed to 8 to 16 watts. In September 2023, the Raspberry Pi 5 was announced boasting a 2.4 GHz quad-core ARM Cortex-A76 CPU, a Video Core 7 GPU, and a new PCIe 2.0 interface. This launch was a critical step in maintaining the Pi's appeal amidst increasing competition. Jeff Gerling's video, When Did Raspberry Pi Become the Villain?, presents an interesting comparison between the Raspberry Pi 5 and the GMK Tech N100 Mini PC. While the Pi 5 is more energy efficient, the N100 100, powered by Intel's N100 processor, surpasses it in raw performance. Geekbench benchmarks further indicate that the N100 system outperforms the Pi 5 by about 50%. This comparison sheds light on Intel's strategic shift into the low-cost mini PC market with the Gracemont core-based N100, showcasing their innovation in low-power applications, a segment they had previously struggled in. The potential for future innovations from Intel poses a notable challenge to the Raspberry Pi, especially if Intel decides to leverage technology from their Meteor Lake processors in the mini PC segment. Cressmont, the microarchitecture behind Meteor Lake's efficient cores, offers a 4-6% improvement in IPC over Gracemont, and maybe more importantly, because it's fabricated on the Intel 4 process, offers further energy efficiency over Alder Lake's Gracemont efficiency cores. In Where Are the Pi 5s, I asked Eben Upton at CES 2024, Jeff Gearling has a bit of an impromptu interview with the CEO of the Raspberry Pi Foundation and voices a number of concerns. Among them, he asks about the potential inclusion of an AI coprocessor in future Raspberry Pis, to which Upton responds by saying that adding such silicon would be a tax to the 70 to 80 percent of users who don't want AI capabilities, and recommends to the 20 to 30 percent of Pi users who might be interested in AI capabilities to seek out a Google Coral TPU. On the issue of Raspberry Pi, Pi shortages, Upton offered reassurance, revealing that production of the Pi 5 had ramped up to 90,000 units per week. Consider what Meteor Lake currently offers as a mobile platform. A SoC tile with two embedded ultra-low power cores that direct data to cores on the CPU tile in order to make the system run more efficiently. Also included on the SoC tile for all mobile Meteor Lake units is an embedded NPU, or Neural Processing Unit, which can help with significantly accelerating AI inferential workloads locally. Further, there's a media engine included on the SoC tile with encode decode support for VP9, HEVC, and AV1, a graphics tile with XE graphics cores, an I.O. tile that scales to a given tier CPU but at minimum has enough PCIe lanes capable of supporting multiple NVMe units. While often associated with high-speed solid-state drives, CES 2024 saw the introduction of NVMe AI accelerators, said to be magnitudes faster than the NPU found on Meteor Lake's SoC tile. If Intel were to offer severely cut down Meteor Lake guys as the basis of mini PCs in the near future, it doesn't seem like Raspberry Pi would be prepared. I've already talked about the wattage utilization gap that a mini PC geared Meteor Lake could close, but Intel would also be able to fulfill the wishes of Pi users who want integrated AI support on a given tiny machine by offering a premium mini PC configuration with the Meteor Lake NPU enabled. There wouldn't be a tax for users not 
not interested in AI yet, and Intel probably wouldn't need to give away what could be perceived as a premium feature to everyone, if they perceive it that way themselves. Finally, Intel probably wouldn't face any shortages, since it seems they had been producing 365,000 Meteor Lake CPUs a month at their Oregon facility since September, though admittedly, I'm not sure what counts as a CPU in that context. While many PCs may not be the sort of business that will keep the lights on at Intel, continued involvement in this market, possibly with pared down Meteor Lake dies, could pose severe challenges for Raspberry Pi if they continue in the direction they took the Pi 5. In response, Raspberry Pi might consider revisiting its roots, maybe offer an updated Raspberry Pi 2 or 3 with 2 to 4 gigabytes RAM and a cooler running CPU at their traditional price points. That would benefit the company instead of going all in on pies made for higher tiers of the market that clash with mini PCs that I'm not sure Raspberry Pi is ready to clash with. Intel's foray into the mini PC market with Alder Lake and Gracemont underscores a renewed commitment to affordable, efficient computing, challenging established norms. On the other hand, the Raspberry Pi continues to navigate these changing tides, tasked with finding its place in a market that is rapidly diversified. The ultimate impact of Intel's innovations on Raspberry Pi's market position is an unfolding narrative. The future interactions between these players will shape the course of affordable computing, but one clear takeaway is the increasing relevance of efficiency, performance, and affordability in the world of single board and mini computers. What do you think of this matter? Share your comment below. Thanks for watching, and take care.